I'm Celine Lee, and I'm a visual artist based in Manila, Philippines. I graduated in 2015 at the University of Santo Tomas in Manila with a fine arts degree majoring in painting. I started exhibiting around two years after graduating. Prior to becoming a full-time artist, I worked for a pre-publishing company for a year. Basically, my work there is to lay out and vectorize figures for textbooks, which are mostly medical books. I have a penchant for keeping things organized as much as possible, so in some ways I enjoy the idea of layouting and the starkness of vector graphics. I left just after a year of working there because I wanted to keep my focus on making art instead. Since I started my artistic journey from my bachelor's degree thesis up to now, I've been preoccupied with the concept of time and space and how I can hopefully translate or transform them into tangible, more encapsulated forms. Oftentimes I work with different media, so I actually enjoy doing group shows because in some ways my creative thought process is being exercised more than when I do solo exhibitions. When the curator of the show, Carlos, invited me, he particularly took notice of my work entitled Planned, which was another one of my works from the Thread on Ida Cloth series. I began using Ida Cloth, often used in cross-stitching, for its open weave quality unlike other fabrics. 
its semblance to a Cartesian plane and how geographic coordinates work in the map attracted me the most. This is also how I got into using 3D software for drafting wireframe images because wireframe is used in 3D as a tool to see the skeleton of 3D models. I like using this tool and the whole idea of 3D modeling in general. We're living in the future, some say, and to me, the use of 3D, especially viewing it in wireframe, is just actually the basis, the new quote-unquote basic. I believe in patterns. I see points as atoms, lines as directions, and so on. And this belief in patterns is also the reason why I like incorporating rudimentary scientific and mathematical principles in my works.
mostly influenced by minimalism when it comes to art movements of the past because to me there's so much to see when there's less and it's so introspective when you look at things from their basis To be quite honest, it was difficult for me to make art, especially during the onset of the lockdown in Manila, which happened mid-March this year. Aside from the lockdown's impediment to my personal work schedule, I was left with little to no resources for my supposed art production. So brainstorming for a plan B was coupled with the seemingly brainstormed response of our government to the crisis as well. And so this particular piece for the show is actually a new work from the series of works which I started during the lockdown. I'm not really one to name my series, but I just called it Disinfection Series later on. I began my Disinfection Series with a work I submitted for an online show under Subagita Projects called Screen Time. The title of that particular work is Together at the Same Time and Place. It's an ink painting on a baka paper and I submerged a part of it into a solution of bleach and water using the recommended ratio for disinfecting surfaces by the CDC. And so as the solution seeps through the paper, the ink is being washed away with it. So far, I've used a baka paper for this series as the constant component while using different media and solutions for disinfecting or its variable. And for this work, I used fabric dye and bleach solution. The pH level of 12 in the title is actually a reference to the pH level of the bleach solution I used for removing the dye on the paper. I decided to work with a baka paper for this series because for one, it was one of the few art materials left with me during the lockdown. Most importantly, the quality of it being native to the Philippines was an appropriate material to use in the context of identity and territory, which are common use topics during the lockdown and this pandemic in general. When I first read the exhibition brief for Figure Proof, I thought of incorporating the use of wireframe images juxtaposed with the use of colors of the Philippine flag, which are coincidentally primary colors. I especially found it interesting how flags are very metaphorical and how we arbitrarily assign meaning to them, especially their colors, and even colors in general. The meaning of the color red to me could be different from your meaning of red. So my work for the show, entitled Composition of Red, Yellow, and Blue under the pH level of 12, begs the question of what the viewers see my work as, whether as a Filipino or non-Filipino, how you see it now versus how you see it months from now or years from now. And to add on top of that, the wireframe images serve as the canon for viewing the work either objectively or figuratively. As the title of the work suggests, I curated the papers in such a way as to not do some of the art movements brought by the First and Second World War, namely suprematism, abstract expressionism, minimalism, but most especially to neoplasticism. As we're all waging a seemingly new war during this pandemic, I can't help but to find congruence with these art movements in my art making and creative thought process.
from the dangers of the virus to the onslaught of unfortunate events and bad news following the lockdown, whether personally, locally, or globally, everything felt like a landslide that led me to murky waters. This is what ultimately led me to start a new series altogether. The constant reminder of cleaning and disinfecting made me compulsively think of cleaning everything. That included myself, my emotions, just my art.